Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 38 in chapter 24. Chapter 24 is about the capacitance, Dow Electric's electric energy storage. So there you can see we have this circuit. The capacitance C1, C2, C4 is given, and the uh, voltages from point A to B is given 24 volts. Now ask you to find the potential difference across each capacitor. So very easily we can see, we can consider C1 and C23 is parallel connection, right? And C2, C3 is series connection. Mm -hmm. So very easily we can see the potential uh, potential difference across C1 is just equal to V because this is a parallel connection. It is just connected with point A to B, right? So this one, you just look at the picture, you can find it. The next one, you need to find the um, potential difference for V2 and V3. How can you determine it? We can consider the charge in these uh, branches. This is a Q2, Q3 equals, right, as Q23. Agree? Yes. So now you can see the total capacitance for the C23 you can see for the C23, the C2 and the C3 can be replaced as the C23 follow these equations. And then we can get the function for C23 look like this one, right? Now you can see for these branches, the potential difference from the A to B is V is given and the capacitance C23 is given. So very easily you can get the charge Q23 as C23 times V and input it. Input C23 inside, you get the term look like this one. As we talk about C2 and C3 series connection, so Q2 equal to Q3 equal to Q23. So Q2, Q3 is given at zero. Mm -hmm. This the one you can get the V2 very straightforward. Just use a charge Q2 over C2, right? So Q2 is there, input it inside, you get the function look like this one. Input is the quantities, get the answer zero. The V3, we can very straightforward, we can use the Q3 divided by C3, right? And input the Q3 inside, you get the function, look at this one. Input all the given quantities, get the answer there. Thank you.